In this video, we will cover the basics of data connection in Tableau. So after connecting to a data connection, we can access the data connection by going to the data source tab over here. Here we can see that we have connected to an Excel source. And below here, we can see the sheets available in the Excel file. So to access this data, we simply have to drag and drop into the area over here. Now we can access this table of data. Now let's say we want to also take a look at the returns data. We can add a new data source. And we can do the same thing. And now we can access the returns data. So how this look like in the worksheet is that we will be able to select the data source we want to use to build our visualization. However, this is not actually what we want to do. Because when we look at the returns data, it is not very meaningful on its own. So what we actually want to do is to join the returns data onto the orders table. And to do that, we simply have to dra drag the returns data over here. And now we can perform a join on this join condition. And in this case, we are joining by the order ID. And now when we go back to the worksheet, we can see that we can now access the returns data on the same data connection as the orders data. So now we don't need this other connection. We can go ahead and close this connection. And if we notice there's another add over here. So how is this add connection different from this new data source connection? This add connection allows us to connect to multiple data connection on the same page. So what is the use of this? So for example, if this data do not exist on the same Excel file, they might exist on separate Excel file. So for example, now we connect to the orders data, which just sits on a separate Excel file. Now we only have the orders data over here. And then we have another Excel file where we can find the returns data. So what happens here is that we are not able to join our returns data onto the orders data. So there's no way for us to drag into this area. So what we can do is to add the connection over here. Now we can see two data connection on the same page and we can drag it into this area and perform our join. 